I'm looking at these medal totals for India. What the fuck is going on with the Indian Olympians? It? No. It? The like India is the most populous country on the planet. Zach, don't link anything yet. Just for by comparison, China has 24 total medals, 11 gold. US has 37 total medals, 9 gold. Most populated country on the planet. How many golds, silvers, and bronzes do you think India has right now? This I'm gonna India. guess they combine for three. Kyle, I didn't listen to the question. The question is how many, how many medals, many medals does, does India, India have? have right now? Most populated country with oh. no high school gym or really. I must say, uh, twelve. Yeah, 12, twelve medals. They have zero golds zero silvers and three bronze so woody That's pretty good woody the clairvoyant over here incredible <laughs> but isn't that they're losing to i had to look up australia has 26 million people that's 10 million fewer people than india's largest city it is an athletic mm -hmm. competition australia has Taylor, a series of them what, yes, what what how could there not be some more athletes in a country of a fucking two billion people i mean you've seen them yeah, but there's outliers everywhere. Chinese people aren't that tall, but every once in a while, some fucking monster comes out of there. I like think the cultural. Chinese are genetically, or I think the Chinese have been building Ubermen for like a whole fucking generation. Yao They're Ming on the one of them. I, yeah, I think so. I don't think Yao Ming's a real person. They created him in a fucking laboratory. Dude, if I there were the a... king of India, I would like, I'd find a reason to keep us out of the Olympics, like because mm. this is embarrassing. <laughs> you know what? The French are arrogant. We're not sending a team to Paris. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want to win too many medals. <laughs> I don't even know what channel to... I haven't watched anything, if to be honest. I don't know where I would watch it. I did catch, um, or because I got sent all the, the screen grabs or whatever, the, um, <clears throat> the, the drag queen Last Supper. That was... I mean, what was that? <laughs> what are we talking about? The drag queen Last Supper? Oh, in the opening ceremonies they had a bunch of drag queens do the last supper you know the the da vinci painting of christ and all his disciples around the table and mm -hmm. christ is played by a gigantic fat woman and everybody else is uh, a man dressed as a woman all of the disciples and this I'm is so... part of the opening ceremonies <laughs> <laughs> i saw a still this of, that. Pride parade. I didn't watch any of this it. is a pride parade that we have in every major city this is that this is the opening ceremonies of the paris olympics ah well this isn't even this is is that King Neptune there? What, what are they crossing the equator? And, no, and probably the Dionysus. Wait, who I'll is the who is that Jesus with the blue dress on? I would guess so cellulite? because it has like the uh, the halo thing around that you see in paintings and whatnot. But yeah, I saw like stills of this. I didn't. I haven't really watched any of the Olympics at all, other than like a mm. clip of an event on Twitter here and there. But I was I saw stills of this and I'm like, who is this for? Like who? Who's like, you know, who's going to love this? The world. The world's going to love this. Like, no. Like, most people see this and believe it or not, they find it off putting. Is this a friend, a friend, like it's something that's not new in France? What, being gay? That is what they're good at. <laughs> no, like, I, I, I'm just guessing. Like, do they have some tradition that this makes sense? <laughs> <laughs> We're, like, are we just looking at it through this American that's lens? That's not a French thing. Drag that's, queen. No, no Zach says I'm thing. right. It, what? They have a they have a tradition. <laughs> Zach said drag, yes, they submit. drag queen last suppers. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't have a last supper drag queen tradition. Someone was like, hey, you know what? The opening ceremony need a drag queen last supper. Yeah. Yes, everyone. But yeah, everyone's in. Great, great. Let's start casting some weird motherfuckers. Who was that blue man? <laughs> Who was the blue man? So uh, no, I was kind of vibing with the blue guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. That's weird. <laughs> that is so strange. Like you would think, because I like I saw the stills of that, and I remembered that really cool one. From maybe it was two thousand four, two thousand eight, where China hosted it, and they had a billion the people drums? playing those drums, being like, "Oh no, Jay." Don't know she no man. Like drums were fucking intimidating, yeah, dude. I remember seeing that and being like, "Damn, China." does not play like china is a real deal country they know how to play the drums so i'm reading about this thing that kyle brought up it has nothing to do with the last supper there weren't 12 people at the table no one was supposed to be jesus etc it's supposed to have something to do with mount olympus it, the idea was to create a big pagan party in link with the god of mount olympus 
and you will never find me or my work or any desire of mocking anyone. So it was some sort of Mount Olympus thing having to do with the Olympics and not... That sounds so much worse what you said. <laughs> I, I just read it. <laughs> the guy's like, we were not mocking the Last Supper. It was about con connecting with Lord Cthulhu, who's the <laughs> demon of pain. <laughs> now, we like to pay homage to him, and the more eyes we get to watch, the more power the gift. Yeah. What? I mean, who like no? Who what? wants to like? Like, shouldn't the ceremonies be like cool? Shouldn't they inspire people and like look I neat, see, I not like a bunch athletic. of bearded men in dresses frolicking about? I would like a dog show. I don't know why they were in drag. Like, like, does France have some drag tradition that I don't understand? That it's because that's, that's what's guess. you know in vogue right now for the kind of people who make these decisions. I I, I just. I don't know where you. I... What you don't know where I did something. What did I do? No, no, you didn't do anything. I'm just like, they, there's definitely not a tradition though of like drag queen last supper, like displays. This is like just a skit that they put on, like just like the drums oh. in China. There's no like tradition of like ten thousand drummers playing to scare the West. They just they were like, you know what, fuck fucking scare the U.S. <laughs> Come on, get, turn, turn the red yeah. lights on. I did see a clip of like some Fr like normal French people reacting to it. That was funny. Where even they, I mean, they were French speaking, people. they were speaking French, so I didn't exactly know. But you could tell they're being like, you know, even for me as a Frenchman, this is pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> I said that this is pretty embarrassing for the whole nation of France. However, they would sound. Yeah, it's I, I saw this stuff about it where they're like, actually, it's the feast of Dionysus, and it's like. Yeah, but the staging of it and everything, like you're kind of doing multiple yeah. things there. Uh, the Last Supper to me. Yeah, and it's, you know, I don't think the Feast of Dionysus traditionally had Dionysus wearing the uh, kind of Catholic sigil thing over the head of Christ. It, regardless, it's fucking ugly and and ridiculous. Like, who watched that and was like, yes, <laughs> right. other, than, other than the choreographers? I scanned a few more articles. I think you guys are right. It's just drag and woke and trendy, uh, which I was hoping not to see that. But it doesn't seem like anyone meant to do the Last Supper. That that's just something that Americans are seeing in it when they were going for some Olympic. It's thing. not just Americans. It's like a lot of Catholic countries, like a lot of people from Catholic countries, so like Italians. Like, and people who like yeah the Easter Bunny and fake shit are getting all upset, calling it the uh, the Last Supper. But I'm not. There were twelve people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, I it definitely was framed the same way as the Last Supper, looking like that. And so it's almost like a, I could see it being like a have your cake and eat it too. Do mm -hmm. this, also mock that. Uh, but I don't know. I can't read their mind. When they say stuff like, I didn't imagine how this could be offensive. It's like, really? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you did. You think fucking Chinese people are watching this opening ceremony and thinking it's awesome? Like, no, this was alienating and weird to everyone who wasn't involved in the choreography of it. Yeah. I mean, it just is. Yeah, I, I'm not looking forward to any of the games. Is there anything I'm supposed to be on the lookout for? Do we have some like track and field person who's going to break a world record or anything? Those records break all the time because they have so many events, seemingly. Some of them. Katie Ledecky won. Who's that? That's our swimmer, uh, right? Yeah, dude. It's actually pretty cool. I think she has like... Yo, hold on. She has the top... 20 fastest 1500 swimming times in Jesus. the world. So like not only is she has the fastest time ever, but she has the next 19 fastest swims also. And she just got yeah. a gold. Yeah. She won by like 50 meters. She Jesus. was finishing the event when the other people were like, a, she might have won by a hundred meters. I don't know. It was that's crazy when someone's so much better than everyone else mm -hmm. in any sport. It's always neat. Yeah. Phelps so, was like that because of his weird torso length, right? I think some he, something about his lactic acid production too. I've I've read, but you never know what's like propaganda. Yeah. Me too. I, mm. Janet Evans, I think that was her name. Um, she was a swimmer. Shit, it's close to that, but I have it wrong. Anyway, her throat was like two four hundred percent bigger than everybody else's. Like she just had a bigger PVC pipe bringing air her in and out of her leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, imagine getting a blowjob that's not tight. 
<laughs> he's not even getting blown. She's he's like, she's always says she has to save her throat for the games. <laughs> this dumb bitch. <laughs> she is the throat goat, and I can't get any. That would suck. Yeah, I, I anyway, man. India with three bronze medals. That's so embarrassing. That's so fucking embarrassing to have that. To be, usually imagine if our country know. was six times bigger and had six times as many people. You think we'd be having the same amount of medals? I don't. I, I don't think they're uh, they're as industrialized as as you might think. I, I'm not sure if the the vast population is really utilized for Olympic gold. Yeah. It's you not that. So. so like, like <laughs> I don't think so. They should the England colonized <laughs> India and like just dominated that country. When India finally left, the leaders of the of the country were like, "We're going to engineer the fuck out of this shit." First of all, everybody learns English. English is the la- the, the fucking thirty seven different weirdo languages we speak in India now. <laughs> those are all your second languages. Your first is India. Suck a dick. That's the rule. Also. You're all engineers and doctors. Fuck every other profession. This is India. We're going to focus on engineering and medical sciences. And here we are, like 50 years later, they're all engineers and doctors. None of them played sports. High schools don't even have sports. This is the culture that you get out of it. Even engineers and doctors are just a teeny percentage of it. Like I, I feel like most Indians are like dirt poor, right? Like just living in the, the, the grossest city you've ever Dude, seen. If you talk, at least in, in my experience, I've talked to a lot of Indians. Zach, show us some filthy uh, streets in India to to that, hammer that home these points we're making. Is a huge national shame for them. Like, like I, I had a trip to India scheduled, I didn't end up going, but like I was I got pulled. It sucked. But anyway, they're like prepping me so I didn't judge them too hard on the Ooh. poverty you see as the plain lands. Like there's yeah. like it's there's you've seen Brazil where there's like a line mm. between rich and poor. Yeah. India has that as well. And they're like, oh those ah, they're called the untouchables. It's the bulk of our population. We're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> And, and they are secret. That, they're not working a, on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that sign says Delhi Park. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are the cleanest street in all of India. Caste <laughs> 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 system that determined how you got into college and such, and they got rid of all that. Is Untouchables that with good grades now have social mobility. It looks like a cow's body, right? In the bottom center, it looks like a tiny oh. child, maybe with oh, half its shit. head submerged. I see what Probably you're talking not, about. Though. I'm just looking for anything awful I can find. You know, this is this is dreadful though. Do you think they have like a superhero oh, story? This is the, the worst. It's not the expendables, it's the untouchables. Dude, look at that, that dog shit with in the water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> And look instead of dog. seven superheroes, they have like <laughs> ten thousand people they don't yeah. care if they die. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that. Look at that dog. Just oh, we're not done with them yet, are we? God damn it, Zach. I want Zach to we need a whole collage. We need to experience this culture and marvel at it. Welcome. We're talking Welcome. about America's failure in the Olympics and also the filth of the of India. Talking about how disgusting India is and how they only have three bronze medals in the entire Olympics. And they have that's like one billion people per bronze. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so bad. That's per so, capita? Yeah, per capita. That's their per capita win rate. Yeah. This is a billion following? instead of a thousand. Have you followed any Olympics stuff at all? I don't give a fuck about the Olympics. I don't know why. I don't know why this year. I just, I didn't even know. I I actually thought about the Olympics for some reason on the 26th of July. And I was like, when are the Olympics? And then I believe they started on the 26th. It was just like this weird sort of unexpected kind of, I haven't followed it at all. I saw uh, this morning that the uh, Algerian lady beating the shit out of that other girl and everyone on twitter said it was a trans person but it wasn't i saw that this morning yeah i saw that where everyone was like this is a trans this is a a dude beating her up and then it's like i think she has a some kind of genetic issue Mm -hmm. right i don't know what it's it's called unusually high testosterone yeah but it's like some sort of androgen issue of absorption or yeah i don't know but she's a woman like right yeah there's a little guy in her Mm-hmm. There's a little yeah, man. Hit, that other chick lover. was like, she hit me harder than I've ever been hit in my life. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> mm, that's, that's a nice crazy. compliment then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. And quit. I did watch and, you know, call me crazy, but it, an Italian woman overreacting, 
have we ever seen that anywhere? You know, like that, <laughs> <laughs> that tends to happen sometimes. And I watched the clip of them fighting and it's like the Italian lady took a couple hits that looked very, frankly, very strong, but like she quit before it really got moving. Like it was only 45 seconds or some shit of yeah. the fight. She said she'd never been hit that hard before in her life, Taylor. And but she didn't she, even, she wasn't even she bleeding. Was bleeding. Oh, she was. Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't do I didn't do enough research, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's silly. You can you can easily be like, yeah, men shouldn't compete against women, but when it's like an actual fucking woman who has a hormonal thing, it's like, what, yeah, what what are they supposed to do? Yeah. If, Is there like what? an easily evade? If she would have taken a pill to get rid of this, you know, unfair advantage, like a, a week leading up, would that have helped? No, because that's that's not how the shit works. I wouldn't imagine. I like it when they have like an exemption like i'm thinking of Messi, the soccer player this guy's the best soccer player to have ever lived on this planet thus far and he's really short and his body doesn't produce human growth hormone so he got a pass to inject human growth hormone and he just happens to be the best soccer player who's ever lived yeah coincidental good for him huh. it's not because he's on performance enhancing drugs do you no. know what his dose is i don't he doesn't have big head or like big hands or like um, uh, the bubble gut. Swollen organ. Yeah. yeah he doesn't have he has that. one yeah. enormous foot for kicking. <laughs> <laughs> one <big foot. laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But good for him for being. Did you guys know anybody like that growing up that had to get on like kickstart hormones because their puberty didn't? My start? dad. My dad does. Oh, my dad did. He, and that happened to, to him, or he knew someone. Yeah, it happened to him. What happened? Really? His, uh, I, I, he had some kind of birth. I don't, I don't remember exactly. My grandmother told me a long time ago, uh, but he had to take growth hormone pills. And like, apparently some of the people, some of the kids who had to take them, uh, like just were riddled with cancer and died before the age of 10. Uh, so he got really lucky to not be riddled with tumors. <laughs> um, and he's short, he's like five, five, but, uh, he's like shredded and probably the healthiest person I've ever met. Uh, so like he, He's doing he's doing good now, but yeah, him. Okay, is well, he still on cool. some sort of like program? No, I believe I believe once he was in high school, his body started to kick in. But once again, I've, I'm just sort of talking out of my ass based on what my grandmother told me when I was a child. So, mm. yeah, okay. I knew someone like that in, I guess it was up to high school, and I guess there was also that like tumor or some health concern for him too because it was very clear that puberty was not going to hit him at like a normal, because he was like 16 years old and he was still like five foot, like four eleven, oh, Like he no. was a tiny little guy and he had to go through like months and months, maybe like a year plus of testing and stuff because they were so worried about like, all right, if we put this on you, it's going to start, you know, it's going to kickstart your puberty, but it, it, this hormone can also cause this and that and this and that and this. And so he eventually got approved to be on it. Doesn't have any tumors or anything like that. Thank goodness. But he, like shot up abnormally fast only ever got to be like five seven but I, i've like thought before it's like if if it if we were in the 1800s and that wasn't a possibility like you just would have had to live your life in, in like as a four foot eleven manlet who always looked like like uh whatever what diseases Andy milanakis have he's not sure <laughs> but he uh baby disorder baby, baby disorder. disease yeah that's what's got baby disease and mm -hmm. Cause he's like 40, 50 years old, but he still has <laughs> really, you don't. Yeah. He's like, super is he old. actually? Yeah. yeah. He, he did the Andy Milanaka show in the early two thousands on MTV. And it was very funny. I remember liking it. And I, I thought at the time I'm like, Oh, this guy's probably like my age, like a 15 year old. And no, he was like 28. Yeah. 28. But he had whatever that disease is. He's 48. What the fuck? He, the uh, baby Huey. Syndrome. Baby yeah. Huey. yeah I, my the Andy Milanakis I know is the Ice Poseidon bus Andy Milanakis yeah. Andy Milanakis or uh, yeah whatever his name is I think I may have had a yeah, small stroke. It's been all downhill for him since <laughs> the doc got his hands on. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. he had a growth hormone deficiency, and he's womp womp. Leading him to always have the voice and appearance of an adolescent. <laughs> yeah, they, it, pollution like dramatically improved while I lived there. Like when I was twelve, there were like bacteria counts and shit towns nearby was shut down my yeah. wetsuit had like tar and shit like embedded in it that from like because the sewers would drain into the ocean That's and right. by the time i was like 20 
it was a thousand percent did you follow the controversy with the is it the sane am i pronouncing a little bit yeah i know that did the mayor jump in swim in the river to prove it was clean a couple weeks ago see there was this whole political bid i don't know how long ago he made the statement you know months maybe years ago he was like yes it's going to be there i'll swim in it the week before the olympics or whatever he like made that vow and sure enough he did but there's this there's huge campaign where they even created an app so because because he they know when he's got in to swim in the river, they the app mm-hmm. shows you where you need to <clears throat> shit in the river so that the shit will get there while he's in the river. <laughs> and and did so he, like, is that what gave him pink eye? I don't I don't I didn't know he got pink eye. That's fucking I'll hilarious. But what I'm telling right. you is there was a very well organized campaign to shit in the river at a specific like time of day and place like based on wherever you live the app would tell you oh shit here shit here that'll get to him just as they're getting in the river <laughs> and so everybody shit in the river <laughs> are you talking about that french river where yeah. apparently yeah, it was something. it wasn't clean enough for people to swim across or something and now it turns out that the olympics are there that i they they can't swim in it because it is too filthy to swim in oh, is oh that, I saw people, is that how it went down i saw people swimming in it People or Olympians? Olymp- Olymp- well, they seem to be in a race. <laughs> they were trying to get. <laughs> they were frantically trying to get out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't I I don't know if they like decided that it was clean enough again. But as of a couple of days ago, they said they weren't going to run that race in the. It's crazy to run it through that that river anyway. Like, isn't it paved on either side? Yeah. Like it's a urban river. Yeah. <laughs> Filthy. And I mean, it's not. Man, we 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 spent a long time earlier talking about how gross India is, but can you imagine the Olympians swimming through the Ganges? <laughs> you know what? That's actually the way India could get a gold. Oh, one guy emerges in- from the other inoculation. Side. It was actually pretty nice today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought a competitor was cheating, and I felt a hand on my ankle, but it was merely a dead body. <laughs> totally unrelated yeah I, i'm so upset by the filthiness of that whole country it taylor sends me like pictures every day the mm. news stories every day yeah, about how filthy. Up. <laughs> so it's, true he's obsessed with it mm. that would be the what if that's the thing i was like really obsessed with like hey, your hyper fixation. People, how, how, my hyper fixation is like being mad at how how mean india is to nature <laughs>